finished. All done and dusted. The feet are gone. And I'm on foam. So how long does a Land Rover Discovery Sport battery last? How long can you expect before you have to fork out a large amount to replace it? Well, this Land Rover Discovery Sport is about two and a half years old and it's showing signs that its battery is going. A couple of weeks ago, or well, nearly three weeks ago, the first warning came up. Low battery. Please start your engine. So it came up about three weeks ago. It's done 16,000 miles. Like I say, it's about two and a half years old. So you have about two and a half to three years before you need to replace, look at replacing your battery. When it first came up, I did charge the battery for about, I think, five hours, which is okay until today when the uh, warnings come up again. And even if you've got a low battery, the engine will start, like I showed in another video when I first, if I've uploaded it yet, when I first uh, had the low battery warning, just put your foot on the brake, press ignition, and it starts even though the bonnet's open. So it's no problem starting. Like I said, I think you've got at least you know, five, 10 ignitions when you first see the warning. Obviously, if you leave the warning, then there's less chance of it starting in subsequent attempts. But from the first time you see the warning, I think you've got about at least five uh, starts and probably more like 10. That's my experience. But like I say, uh, it's best not to leave the warning. You need to deal with it. It is winter, so it, and I don't drive it much, which might be obviously one of the reasons why I've got a low battery warning at the two and a half year mark. But it's, for my experience with other cars, it's a sign that the battery is going, that, you know, I did give it a five hour charge just nearly three weeks ago. So now let's charge it again for another, you know, another, say nine hours. This one's two and a half years old and it's done 16,000 miles and it's starting to get the lower battery warnings. So it's looking like the time is approaching when I'm going to start have to replace the battery, which implies that the batteries have a lifespan of between two and a half and three years, maybe 16 to 20,000 miles. Anyway, I'm going to charge it, give it a healthy charge, and hopefully I'll get at least another six months out of it. Here's, here's the charger, yeah, power extension. I already took the cover off the battery, although I'll be fiddling around for about three or four minutes. Here's the leads, which I'm going to plug in, negative first. It's not, make sure the charge is not plugged in because you need that to last. Make sure you get the right negative and positive sides, which are clearly marked. A bit difficult to do one hand with the negative. Come on. Positive, make sure you're not touching any metal. Double check again that it's positive to positive. on yeah now we're going to plug in to this old charger this is 20 at least 25 years old you know they they build them well in the past you know a charger today won't last five years there we go yeah it jumps straight to five like it did uh, last time the warning came up. In my experience it soon drops to about four, sells at four, 
and then over time it'll migrate towards zero. Last time I stopped it, charging around just under two. Because you know, I left about five hours. So now I'm going to leave it for a lot longer, maybe nine hours. But these are the early signs that the battery's going. Because I'm recharging it again after three weeks. And that's a sign that the battery is going. That you have to. But the warning comes up again. Like I say, it's not come up in the previous year that I've owned it until now. But it is winter. And I don't drive it much. So it might be that. I estimate I've got at least once I make it through winter I've got you know I've got at least another six months before it I need to think about getting a new battery. Which I presume will cost a, at least £150, maybe £200 to get a, a big battery that can power a Land Rover Discovery Sport though I don't really want to disconnect the battery because might cause other problems. You can check out in my future video if uh, disconnecting your battery causes a problem. So the electrics, memory, and the rest, you know, cords. Hopefully it won't. Look, see, it's settled now. At four. Once from five to four. That's what happened last time. No, all the hours will migrate. I'm going to leave it to go to below one. Don't know if we'll make it to zero. But we'll see. So we'll check back in uh, about seven, eight hours. And hopefully it'll be charged and the warning light won't come off up again. Which it didn't the last time I did it. But we're now nudging below four. This charger is not charging it that fast, it's just settling. Can't charge it from five to four in about five minutes. So it's just settling. It shows the battery capacity is reduced. So it is coming towards the end of its life. I don't think, I think it lasts me six months. But just to be on the safe side, I'm keeping this in the car a battery charger and a small compact not a charger battery jump starter yeah I'll show you what it looks like it's compact there we go bought online for about 80 pounds it's a very compact charger yeah fully charged in case I need to jump start my car so I'm not leaving things to chance driving around with a low battery warning I went straight away went out and bought a jump starter cost uh, 80 pounds from Amazon hmm. See, is that? it's on three so it looks like I'm gonna have to charge this one as well Take it in and charge it. It's supposed to be four, four lights. So it's lost a little bit of charge while it's been sat in the car. About three weeks. Anyway, I'm not leaving it to chance. Don't leave it to chance. You don't want to be stuck in a shopping centre or somewhere. You know, your Land Rover Discovery Sport. I know you can call people out, but you're going to waste time over the battery so we'll see what reading the cars are and the, that the warning goes off in about at least eight hours time and because it's winter it'll be dark by then so it's now uh, it's gone back up why did it go back up Yeah, battery's coming towards the end of its life. So it's now eight hours since I put the 
Land Rover Discovery Sports battery on charge. It's now showing less than one amp power drain on the charger. So basically it's saying it's charged, just providing a trickle charge of less than one amps. When it started it was at five, went down to four, then hovered between three and four for a while, would go down and up. Uh, when it's just one amp it's basically trickle charge so it should be pretty charged I won't say it's fully charged because at an average of three three eight times is 24 amp hours and that battery's capacity is more than 24 I don't know what it is what is it 60 is it a 60 yeah 60 amp hours so 24 divided by 60 what's that it's about 40 percent something like that roughly it's charged 40 percent of the battery so it was probably around 50 percent mark yeah so battery was roughly at around 50 percent mark when it was coming up as a low battery and this is topped up by roughly 24 and that means it's probably around 90 percent around the 90 percent charge mark like i say it's only providing a trickle charge now so there's no point in leaving the charger on it's providing was it 0.8 amps to the battery that's gonna it's about four four amps in four amp hours in five hours so no point leaving it connected if it was a two or th between two and three yeah, or one and two but less than one it's fully charged hopefully i don't need a new battery and that uh, no battery warning is gone for the rest of the winter hopefully if it returns that means the battery's going. I'll need a new battery. Hopefully, it will last me another six months. Especially if I charge it every time it's coming towards, or every time that sign pops up. So now I'm going to unplug it and then disconnect the leads. And there should be no. Warning light, let's take off the negative. Yeah, out of the way on plastic. Now the positive. Yeah, that's it. Done. Pretty straightforward to charge your Land Rover Discovery Sports battery. Now I just gotta put the cover back on. And then we're good to go. There we go, that's the charger. Let's see what it looks like with the hood down. Yeah, you can't see the battery compartment, so it's still weatherproof even without, even without the cover. Christmas, if you didn't know.